Welcome to Build Edge. I'm Aaron Dietzen, and I'm going to look at editing Build Edge door dynamic components in Build Edge Pro. All right, so what we're going to look at here is editing the components that I have in Build Edge. In this case, I have a Build Edge door placed into a wall. Uh, this is a swing door. This is a six panel style. You can see each of these styles listed right here. I have a separate video that walks through them. I'm going to say for this example, I want to take this six panel door and I want to modify it. Um, I'm going to say something simple like uh, change these two panels into a single panel. Let's have a single panel at the bottom. That's what I want. That's how all of my doors are. I want to make that change. So one of the things I could do, of course, is I could right from here use SketchUp to go into this component, open it up, and start making changes and editing it. That works if it's a one-off door. I can take this, make whatever changes I want, that's fine. If I always have those changes though, then I want to do it once and have it saved. To do this, I actually need to open this component file. So I'm going to go up into SketchUp and I'm going to hit open. Uh, from here I'm going to go to my plugins folder for SketchUp 2014. I'm using 2014, if you're using 2015 of course, you go into your plugins folder for 2015. So here's plugins. When I go into plugins, I'm going to go into build edge. I do have our old plugin build edge plan installed also, but I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go to build edge. I'm going to scroll down until I see the resources folder, open up resources, and in resources, I'm going to open components. The components list is all of my doors and windows for Build Edge Pro. So each of these names indicates which door I'm looking at. Um, so in here, I'll pop up a list of what each of these is on the screen. Um, what I'm looking for is my swing door. So I'm going to go down to BS. Uh, the first one is my slab door, just one piece. Then I have glass, four panel, and six panel. So number four is always my six panel door. So BS04 is six panel. So if I open up that door, there we go, I get that door. All right, so when I first pull this up, um, first off, I'm seeing a whole bunch of hidden stuff. I do have, of course, the ability to switch through different handle types, handle locations, left to right swing, that sort of thing. Back here I have uh, my different handles, push bars, all that kind of stuff is hidden. I can also see the dotted lines where the geometry of the different pieces of the door meet. Um, that's all good stuff. A lot of that's hidden when I go into uh, place it into build edge so I don't have to worry about those lines, that sort of thing. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to come up here. Um, I'm going to open up my uh, dynamic component windows, my options, and my component attributes. Right, I'm just using this for just kind of reference. Um, but right here, this is going to show me all of my pieces that make up my di dynamic component door. So. I can go through here. We'll, I'll, I'll, uh, we'll have a document available on the buildedge.com website that'll go through each of these items. I don't want to list them all out right here in this, this video. Um, but right now, what I want to look for is these pieces down here. So I know that in this case, let's start at the bottom up. Um, so here's my bottom rail. That's this piece right here. And then I have this bottom one, two, three, four, five. That's these five pieces. This piece, the inset, this piece in the middle, then this inset, and then the right side. So what I want to do in this case is make edits to these pieces. So what I can do is I can come in, I'm going to open up the door. So see that the casing disappeared because I'm only editing the door itself. And I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to grab the pieces that I want to get rid of. So I want to get rid of that piece, so I'm going to select it and just hit delete on my keyboard. That's gone. I'll take this one right here and delete it. And I want to take this piece. I don't want this piece to only come across this section right here. I want to actually go across the entire door to right here. So if I look at what my, 
my length is, my y length, it's an inch and a half. If I turn on my functions and see that, I'm sorry, my, I said my y, my x length is this thing called calc panel width. Well, what the heck is that? If I back up a little bit, I can actually see in my door, I have all these calculations that get done. One of them is calc panel width. So here I have a bunch of calculations about how I cut the door in half, then subtract the mountain and style widths and everything to figure out how wide this should be. Remember, as I place this door, I have the ability to change the width. So I could make this thing a three foot door, a six foot door, a one and a half foot door, and all of these pieces resize accordingly. That's done by putting the not solid one-time values in there, but a bunch of values like this. Um, what I'm going to do is instead of using whatever this calc panel width is, I'm going to tell it exactly how big I want this to be, because this is, this is going to be special. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here. Um, I'm going to go find that panel. Of, what was it again? It was... Uh, BSO4 bottom 2. So I'm going to find BSO4 bottom 2. Here it is. And I'm going to tell it my length is not calc panel anymore. It's going to be instead equal to the door width. So if I say here's my door envelope. So whatever that length is. So I'll make it equal to that. Copy that, and I'm going to come here, and I'm going to say, make it equal to that. If I hit enter right now, it's going to be too big, because the whole panel, the whole door width. I want it to be the width of the door minus this piece and this piece. Well, what are these pieces? This one's number five right here, so I can see that is style width. So if I put the width of this panel as the door minus two times the style width, it should be the correct width. So if I come in here to X, I'm going to say minus two times, and then I'll actually just come find the style width. Here we go. And choose that. Now if I hit enter, there it is. Um, I, uh, when I did that, I only did it for one of the swings. I only did the left swing. Uh, there is a whole separate door in here for the right swing because it is geometry that goes the opposite direction. So if you do want to make changes like that, you would have to make it twice because there's a left and a right swing. So I'd have to open it up, delete those pieces out again, and, and put them in there. Once I do that, I can save it, and then when I put that door into my model, it'll actually pull this geometry instead of my previous geometry. Um, and that will actually allow that to happen. Now, it's important to note, this is only available if you are using SketchUp Pro. This is a SketchUp Pro feature only, editing these dynamic components. If you're using SketchUp Make, you won't be able to make these changes. Very important to note that. Um, but that is really how you get around that. Like I said, look on our website. We'll put some information up there for editing these pieces, what these different fields mean, that sort of thing. And uh, you can see how that works. After making that change, uh, I want to put that edited, that modified door component into a wall. I do have to close SketchUp and restart. Uh, the components are loaded into SketchUp when BuildEdge Pro is started, and that only happens the first time. So after saving, you have to close SketchUp, open it back up, open BuildEdge Pro, and now when I go grab this swing six panel door and place it into the wall, I'll see my edited door with the single panel at the bottom shows up in my wall. That covers the basics of editing dynamic components in BuildEdge Pro. Visit www.buildedge.com for more information and additional tutorials. Thank you.